What's up, fuckers, and welcome back to another Rebuild Challenge here on NBA 2K22 Next Gen. Today, continuing the Trading Every Player Rebuild Challenge series, and today we got the Boston Celtics team that's currently in shambles. Absolute shambles. Seem like nothing ever goes right for them. Overall-wise, they're not a very good team, man, and I'm excited to kind of blow this team up today, hopefully have a little bit of a fresh start, hopefully bring another championship to Boston. So I'll quickly explain the rules to you guys that do not know what they are. Basically, I have to trade this entire team before the start of year number one, and I am at no point in time allowed to bring anybody back who's on the current roster. So I'm going to close my eyes for the trade. I'm going to have no say. After all those trades are done, I'm going to be able to make three trades of my choosing, of course, not being able to bring any of those guys back. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. The goal today is to obviously win a championship. And finally, of course, I do want to hear from you guys. Let me know any other video ideas you do have down below in the comments section. Of course, if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe and join the community. We'd love to have you. Without further ado, man, let's get into it. All right, so we'll quickly get into this. The Celtics actually made a trade the other day. It was a three-team deal involving the San Antonio Spurs and the Denver Nuggets. They picked up Bull Bull, along with P.J. Dozier, both of which are injured most likely for the majority, if not the entire season. So we're not going to get to use them in real life, but they got rid of Juancho which was a huge dub. Obviously, I'm sure the majority of you know what this roster is like. The team's obviously led by Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, respectively two young stars, if you will, but they're going to be going. So, let's start off with Jason Tatum. Well, besides, you know, not even close, probably my favorite player in the NBA. Uh, he's struggled a little bit, but we're going to move him today and stop now. Tangus Pingus and Jalen Brunson for Jason Tatum and Grant Williams. Honestly, that's not the worst deal in the world. There are definitely some ones that could have been a little bit worse. So, we'll move on from Jalen Brown now. As well, hopefully just kind of just fire these off and get this done quickly. We have how many offers? 13 trade offers, and we'll stop in 3, 2, and a 1. Brickleberry Simmons and Andre Drummond for Jalen Brown. And Sorry about the cut. I got cut off. Um, All right. Robert Williams and Al Horford, just because the salary kind of combines to maybe closer to a max deal. But honestly, not the worst trades in the world. Simmons is obviously pretty good in real life. I think people shit on him a little bit too much. And then obviously in the game, he does progress really well. And we'll stop right now. Jeremy Grant and Hamadou Diallo for Robert Williams and Al Horford. Not my favorite deal, but honestly one I can live with. So... We kind of have a new core here. It's not exactly a core that's, you know, tremendous at shooting, which is kind of an issue. Dennis Schroeder, I wish they would trade in real life so bad. Enos Freedom, I hope, oh my God, if they cut him, I would be happy. I mean, good Lord. Terrible. Three, two, and a one. And we get Rudy Gay and Hassan Whiteside for Schroeder and Freedom. Um, furthermore, we'll do Richardson and we'll do Marcus Smart, who guys that I also wouldn't mind. Actually, Richardson's been pretty solid, but I think the Marcus Smart era needs to come to an end. He's actually eligible to be traded, I think, tomorrow. Actually, today, when you're seeing this video, it needs to end. Three, two, and a one. Tim Hardaway Jr., Reggie Bullock, welcome to the team. And then I think we do have a couple more here. Uh, Dozier and Pritchard. Pritchard actually should be playing a lot more minutes. I'm not even kidding. He should, he really should be. And stop it now. And we get, oh, I can't take Freenis, excuse me, Enos Freedom back. And now... First round pick in Lou Williams. I actually don't mind Lou Williams. It's a little old for my liking. But, um, yeah, we have to make, let's see, Aaron Neesmith and Bull Bull and then Langford. I'll do Langford, Baradric Thomas, and Sam Hauser after that. So, cool. Pretty quickly right here, uh, Aaron Neesmith really didn't pan out too well. He actually, he's a decent shooter. It just really never worked. Miles McBride and Alex Burks. Now we have to get rid of Lou Will. <laughs> that sucks. Um, all right, final two right here. We have Langford and... Sam, I mean, he's 68. Six, okay, those two can just chill on there. I'll just move Langford. All right, final deal right here that we don't have any say in, of course. Romeo Langford having two stars is actually insane. And stop it right now. Trey Burke and Moses Brown. Moses Brown coming back to the Celtics. We have to give up a first-round pick. Not exactly ideal. Uh, so this is what the team's looking like right now. I definitely do have a trade or two in mind that I do want to make. I'll see you guys with that first move. So we're going to do this deal right here with the Atlanta Hawks. We're going to get Clint Capella. Obviously, I'm fully aware that Peyton Pritchard cannot come back in this deal. But Drummond and Jeremy Grant are going to be gone. Let me explain this. You know, something pretty simple. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to grasp this. But Drummond's obviously a free agent of this year. If he asks for insane money, there's no way I'm bringing him back anyways. I'll, furthermore, he's just not very good. And Jeremy Grant could be fun to have. But ideally, we have Kristaps Porzingis. I'm not going to run one of them at you know small forward or center. I think with Clint Capella, it's an upgrade there. So any way I can take somebody else besides Peyton Pritchard. Obviously, I can really kind of maneuver this whichever way I wish. But you want to give me Kelton? Excuse me, Kelton Johnson, Jalen Johnson. Uh, they want Rudy Gay, and they'll give me Delon Wright. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. We can do that trade. First trade's in the books. We got two more to go. Next trade here coming with the Memphis Grizzlies. Jalen Brunson, Delon Wright, and a first round pick from the Atlanta Hawks. His lottery protected. 
for Desmond Bain and Kyle Anderson. That's a pretty good deal. I think Desmond Bain's going to probably be my starter the entire video, obviously on that rookie contract, which is a huge advantage, and that's a huge upgrade at that shooting guard spot. We got one more trade to go. Final deal here is a pretty good one, in my opinion. Reggie Bullock and Trey Burke heading to Miami. We pick up Duncan Robinson in a first. I'm doing this deal because Robinson going to come in. He's going to be my backup small forward. Always good to have shooters off the bench as well, along with acquiring a first-round pick for two guys that really weren't going to be here past this year. So, welcome to the team, Duncan Robinson. You will be my backup small forward wherever you are cool goes up to a 77 overall so i'm gonna go ahead and set the rotation now i actually think this team's in a pretty good spot i'll see you guys with that rotation start of year number one for us here in boston the team's actually pretty good it's a little bit better than i was actually hoping for it to be is this a championship caliber team we're probably not quite there yet but i'm excited to see hopefully some of these young guys gonna take another step hopefully become a future building block for this team ben simmons desmond bain hamdu diallo christoph porzingis and clint capella our bench unit's actually really good it's been something i've definitely put a lot of focus on going forward in these videos it's definitely building my bench i've realized that's typically a big key to success in some of these so be putting a big focus on that kyle anderson alec burks tim hardaway jr duncan robinson and Hassan whiteside it's not the worst bench it's not the best bench it's just a pretty decent overall it's a pretty solid bench i will see you guys at the end of year number one here in boston the first regular season it comes to an end we are a one seed here so a pleasant surprise to say the least also number one in the power rankings Overall wise, I'm pretty happy with this team. Luka Doncic, first career MVP, good for him. Cade Cunningham, rookie of the year is in Detroit. Kevin Love, sixth man. Giannis Antetokounmpo, defensive player of the year. Tyrese Maxey, most improved. Ime Udoka, coach of the year. Something that's probably a pretty big long shot, but we go 57 and 25 and get it done as a one seed. We'll take a look at the standings real quick. We were one game ahead of the Milwaukee Bucks, obviously led by Giannis, Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Brooklyn Nets, Harden, KD, Kyrie. Overall wise, we definitely don't have the best roster in this conference, but you know, we guess we played together. We played pretty well, and that's why we're the one seed here. Tingus Pingus led us in scoring, followed by Brickleberry Simmons, Hamadou Diallo, Clint Capella, Desmond Bain. Good makeup overall. Uh, rebounds per game went to Capella, and assists was Ben Simmons, a 10 assists a game. So we'll sim the play in to see who we got here in the first round. It's going to be the Chicago Bulls. Actually, currently the ones, actually, now technically it's Miami right now. But. Nonetheless, a very good team. Lonzo Ball, Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, Pat Williams, Nikola Vucevic, they got Caruso, Kobe White, obviously. I'm so excited to watch them come playoff time. We're up to nothing on them. You love to see it. They do take a game on their home court. They take two games on their home court. We go up 3-2. Can we close them out here? Yes, we do. Moving on to the NBA's Eastern Conference semifinals here. We got the Miami Heat, Kyle Lowry, Victor Oladipo, Jimmy Butler, Dwayne Demon, Bam, at Hero, Max Strauss, Omar Yurtsman, however you pronounce that, off the bench. It's a really good team there in Miami. Let's see if we can beat them here. We go up 2-1. We go up 3-1. We close them out in five. On to the Eastern Conference Finals against a very good team and a very good big three here in the Brooklyn Nets. They got two MVPs and an all-star caliber, I mean, superstar point guard in Kyrie Irving, or I guess technically he's the shooting guard, whatever really way you want to want to slice it that's a very good team uh i'd like to get it done i just don't know if it's going to be possible we're up three nothing on them and we sweep the brooklyn nets out of their own building going on to an nba finals against the utah jazz wow mike conley donovan mitchell bohan bogdanovich actually rumored to be a celtics target in real life tory craig rudy gobert got schroeder off the bench we obviously made that trade with them Let's see if we can get it done here in year number one kind of alleviate some of that pressure off us if you will we're up 2-1 against the jazz we go up 3-1 and, of course, I'd love to get you guys some gameplay. If we can get a championship in year one when, obviously, we made a lot of moves because we had to trade the whole team, but I only really made three moves myself. Uh, Looks like we're not going to be getting this one done. So we're going to be heading to Utah for game six. Let's see if we can get it done on their home floor. Not the start we're looking for. Please don't blow a 3-1 lead. I can't. I, can't, I just I can't. All right, well, we're not getting this one done. We're battling back a little bit. Um... I'll see if I can get it done. I'll see you guys in there. Uh, I've had bad game plays, and then I've had that, which was probably one of my worst of all time. So we've officially blown a 3-1 lead. We're 3-3 going to Game 7 of the NBA Finals on our home floor in the TD Garden. I'm not showing you that gameplay. But what I will show you gameplay is here. If we don't choke this one out of the water, I mean, good God. All right. I'll try to hold a seven-point lead with a minute 58. I'll show you guys this gameplay. All right, we got Duncan Robinson at the line right now. I do want all the starters in. Obviously, he is not a starter for us, but hopefully he can hit this free throw for me. Thank you very much. Duncan cool we're up by eight with a minute 48 if i blow this i might i should go down in history as potentially the worst 2k player of all time i'll try to play against donovan mitchell oh my god what are you doing ben somehow gets it to go give it to ben simmons all right all right all right i'm going to slow down the tempo a little bit or am i i'm going to go right at the rack crossover oh. 
Yeah, I'm I'm just so bad at this game. I I don't I wish I was good. Like I I wish I had like the time to like actually get better at this game because I feel like it'd be so fun if I was good, but I'm just not. Donovan Mitchell's just hitting that pull up. Like honestly, it probably would have been a better choice for me to just go ahead and let the CPU grind it out because they probably wouldn't have blown it as bad as I'm going to. We're trying to run a quick floppy here. It should be with Duncan Robinson, but it's not. It's with Desmond Bain actually, and that was got it, got it, got it. Good. Let's go, baby. Desmond Bain catch and shoot. Puts us up by nine. That's huge. That's huge. I'm just, I'm just going to abuse floppy instead of the pick and roll right now. Donovan, I just, like, why would I get that out of here? Is that blocked? Do you get a piece of that? Let's go. All right. Slow the tempo down. Uh, why is Kyle Anderson in the game right now? Duncan Robinson back door. He's going to get the lane to go. He's got 11 0 and 0 on the night. Oh, my God. We are up by 11. 48 seconds left to go here in game seven. And Schroeder's going to miss the story of my life so far this year as a Celtics fan. Uh, I'm, I guess they're not going to foul. I do not want the ball in Ben Simmons' hands if they are going to foul. I'm assuming they're going to probably start. Oh, I had the lane. I screwed that up. Desmond Bain. Heat check. Heat check. Ah, that would have been cool. Would have been a big board there for Williams. He doesn't get it. They're going to push it back up to Schroeder. and give it to Torrey Craig, but it might be too little too late. And I, okay. I didn't even click a button, but... All right, starters are going to come back in the game. We're in the bonus, so they're, excuse me, they're in the bonus. Actually, both teams are in the bonus. But they're going to go ahead, and they're going to shoot two free throws with Torrey Craig right now. I would... Okay, I would hope that there's no way I can blow a 10-point lead this fast, but honestly, I, could, I have done some pretty crazy shit before. Tim Hardaway Jr. Oh, they took out the... What? Why did they take it out the starters? Sure, Bogdanovich hit it. All right, he hit that. I'm assuming they're just going to play the... Actually, no, it looks like they've just kind of completely given up. We will dribble out the clock, and we are going to be NBA champions. Pretty cool feeling, if I do say so myself. I'm going to take a little heat check here. Step back, baby! God, oh, that would have been a cool way to end it. We're going to win our first championship of today's video in year number one. We get it done. Oh, pressure is off in today's video. I'll see you guys in the finals MVP. So I do not choke a lead some way, somehow, and we get it done here in year number one. Finals MVP goes to Ben Simmons. You take a look at his numbers right there. Good to see Ben Simmons getting back on top. We get the championship done. Obviously, the goal doesn't stop now. We just want to continue winning them. Obviously, we don't have to win it every year. The pressure is off a little bit, but... You'd like to win more than one if you do go ahead and win them all. Or excuse me, win it all in the first season. So, we'll enter the draft lottery right now. Good first season. We do not have a pick in the lottery. It's going to be the Knicks, the Thunder, and the Rockets, followed by the Kings and Magic as your top five. We'll head into staff signing. I'm not a huge Emilio Doka fan, but I'm not going to fire my head coach right after winning a championship. That would be crazy. Up to the NBA draft right now. We have the 30th overall pick. Am I going to use it? Probably not. I like this team overall. We got a championship, but I think I'm at the point where I'm probably going to move on from some of these guys like a Tim Hardaway Jr. or a Duncan Robinson, maybe just making a little bit too much money for my liking, and maybe going ahead and getting an upgrade maybe with that small forward spot. It has absolutely nothing. <sighs> what do I want to do here? Um, you know what? Okay. I'm going to move Hardaway Jr. at Robinson to the 30th overall pick. I'm just going to glance at offers. I'm probably not going to get anything I like here. Jonathan Isaac or Kelton Johnson is interesting, but... We're going to get a big upgrade at that small forward spot. I'll see you guys with a trade. So Paul George is not a guy I trade for a lot. That's typically because his regression hits super hard here in 2K. But you know what? Why not today? Paul George coming off a year of 24.6 half boards and 4.5 assists. I'd love to have him. There's no shot they're taking that straight up. I'm probably going to have to mortgage this team pretty much in order to do so. But honestly, for Paul George and a team we've already won a championship, I'd be willing to do it. So they don't want that. Is there any other players I could throw in here? I really wouldn't mind. You can have Jalen Johnson if you want him. Damn, I still won't take it. Um... Alec Burks could be interesting. Miles McBride, you want him? Nope. Um, I'll give you Alec. Can you afford Alec Burks? They can. This is a lot, but I'd be willing to do it. They agreed it. Paul George, welcome to Boston. Going to be obviously our starting small forward. Hamadou Diallo did not play bad for us whatsoever. Nothing wrong with him. But we're getting an upgrade at the end of the day. I'm pretty sure that's a, it's a pretty smart move overall. Did I trade my 30th overall pick? I did. Okay, cool. We will now head up to team player options. We're going to kind of finalize this roster. Dial and Moses Brown can both come back. Probably going to get a pick for Moses Brown. Uh, Broder Thomas and Sam Hauser are currently on the Celtics. Obviously, they didn't play at all, so it didn't affect it, and there really weren't any trade offers for them. Kyle Anderson is a guy I'd like to bring back. Um, you know, he's a good bench piece for me. We're going to let Whiteside go. Ooh, maybe I could... Oh, wait. I have an idea now. So, Kyle Anderson's going to come back. We're going to take a look at this roster right now. We have our point guard in Ben Simmons. I want an upgrade besides Miles McBride. Uh, we obviously traded away uh, a lot of play pieces, so this team kind of is a little thin right now, if you will, but I'm pretty comfortable with it. I actually am probably going to keep Moses Brown. He's technically not in the Celtics. He was for about five minutes earlier this summer. But we're probably going to go ahead, and I'm pretty comfortable going ahead with a 10-man rotation again. So Miles McBride, I just I don't really feel like developing him, so we're going to hopefully get a first-round pick for him. 21 years old, 72 overall. 
pretty cheap contract. I'd like to reload some of that ammo we just kind of unloaded to the LA Clippers. So now I need a backup point guard, and I believe I need a backup shooting guard, and that should be it. Yes, it is. All right, um, we don't have a ton of great options here. I'm kind of okay with, you know, Ben Macklemore. I don't really love it, but is what it is. Do I want to bring Rondo back? If he wasn't 36 years old, I'd be happy to bring him back. I'm actually probably going to, yeah, we're going to sign Damian Lee here, and we're going to trade him. I don't want to, you know, just sign him to trade him, but... We need an upgrade somewhere, and I think Damian Lee's probably going to be the guy to go. Um, all right, Damian Lee. I just need some sort of point guard. It does not have to be anybody great. Obviously, our bench was kind of a strong suit going into last year. We obviously don't really have that going forward. Gabe Vincent's fine. Um, but, we, again, that's going to be something we work on next offseason. Other than that, this team's all set. I will see you guys at the start of year number two. We are here at the start of year number two in Boston. We have a huge upgrade at the small forward spot in Paul George. He did go down two overalls. If he continues to put up great numbers, there's no reason to worry about it. It's just 2K back on its BS. But Ben Simmons, Desmond Bain, Paul George, Christoph Porzingis, and Clint Capella is going to be the starting five here. For year number two, our bench unit's okay. It's not the best in the world. We move Hamadou Diallo to the bench, and again, it's nothing against him. He actually played really, really well for us last year, but it's it's Paul George at the end of the day. Hamadou Diallo will be our sixth man, followed by Kyle Anderson, Ben McElmore, Moses Brown, and Gabe Vincent. These guys are not playing a ton of minutes because they're not very good in comparison to the rest of this team. I'm pretty comfortable with this team. I'm hoping to get it done again. I'll see you guys at the end of year number two. Second season comes to an end, and this one hurts a little bit. Seeing JT win an MVP, we obviously had him to start this video. We're not allowed to have him again, but... It's good for him, man. Really happy to see it. One seed here once again. That's what you also love to see. Also number one in the power rankings. We're obviously going trying to go back to back right now. Jabari Smith Jr., Rookie of the Year. Kevin Love, back to Minnesota. Jonathan Isaac, Anyeka Kongu, and Ime Udoka. Second straight year coach of the year. We go 60 and 22. I'm happy with this squad right now. I want to be happy again in the postseason. We are eight games up in the Detroit Pistons for a two seed. Interesting right there. Uh, player stats on the year lens scoring by Paul George. So, I mean, his numbers was going to go down. Obviously, he was him and Kawhi Leonard, basically. That's it. Reggie Jackson, maybe a little bit in the scoring department over in L.A. But here we have a couple more options, if you will. And we have what? What is that? Seven double-digit scores? So, really, really good. What's the record for most double-digit scores on a team? I'd like to know that. We got a classic matchup here in the first round. Boston versus New York. D. Rose quickly. R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson. They got Kemba Walker, Cam Reddish. Powell Banchero off their bench. Good for them. We are up 2 nothing against them. We're up 2-1. I'd like to close them out with some pretty good ease. 3-2. and can we cl No shot, right? Thank God. Moving on to the Eastern Conference semifinals. We got the Toronto Raptors. Fred Van Vliet, Gary Trent Jr., OG Anobi, Scotty Barnes, who has been so fun to watch this year. Good squad. I'd like to beat them, hopefully, and just go back-to-back. -back. I have not gone back-to-back -back in a long time. We sweep them out of their own building. And here come the Detroit Pistons. Jalen Brunson, Cade Cunningham, Sadiq Bay. Like, you're good. You have a couple of our old players, but, like, are you really a two-seed good? I, I don't. I just can't see a way this team beats us, if, if I'm being honest with you. We're up 3-1 right now. Back in the NBA Finals, here come the Denver Nuggets. They saved me from having to face my arch enemy in Zion Williamson in this game and the rest of the hype beast squad and the Pelicans. Jamal Murray, Will Barton, Michael Porter Jr. They are playing Andre Drummond. At the power forward spot, I guess you can maybe get away with that with Nikola Jokic's shooting abilities, but still, you could not pay me money to play Andre Drummond at a power forward spot. We're 1-1 with them right now. We go up 2-1. We're 2-2, so we got a best of three series right here. We go up 3-2, and can we close them out in six games on their home floor? Yes, we can. We go back-to-back -back in Christoph Porzingis, finals MVP. You love, you love, you love to see it, man. Wow, can I three-peat? I don't know if I've three-peated so far this year in 2K. But honestly, I'm going to give it my all right now. Change the shot clock to 30 seconds. The fact that 23 people put that through is actually criminal. We now head up to the draft lottery. I don't think I traded for anything in here. And yeah, no, we don't have anything. It's going to be the Rockets, Nets, Warriors, Magic, and Magic. Wow, two top five picks. Good for you. Staff signing again. Not moving on from Yamini Doka. Just won us two championships in a row. Start of a dynasty, hopefully. We have the 30th overall pick along with two seconds. I don't really want these... All right, I'll just thank you, and then I'll take a second round pick for number 30. It's basically a second round pick. I do hate that. Everybody's like, oh, it's basically a second. No, it's a first, and then everybody will say the first overall pick in round number two is a first round pick. I get what you're saying, but it's, I mean, it's not. It's They are what they are. Sorry. Team player options, Desmond Bain, Moses Brown coming back. Christoph Porzingis declines his player option, probably wants a lot of money after being a finals MVP caliber player for this squad. I obviously do want to bring him back. I also well, maybe gave Vincent, but Kristaps Porzingis is 100%. We do need back on this squad. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and re-sign him. Hamadou Diallo is a free agent, and I don't have rights on him. That's a big loss. I thought I'd have rights on him, but I just don't. That's not an easy, easily replaceable one. Um, what I'm probably going to do right now is maybe go out and sign a guy like Terrence Ross. Maybe I'd bring Evan Fournier back. 
Um, I can bring Evan Fournier back, and then I might look to trade him. <sighs> Getting rid... That sucks, having to get rid of Hamadou Diallo. That really does. All right. Um, I'm comfortable with... Actually, I'll move on from Ben McElmore. I'll let Evan Fournier, who just torches the Celtics every time he plays them now. Dude has some, like, vendetta against the Celtics. Actually, here's what I'll do. I'm going to go nine-man rotation. Paul George won't have a backup. He'll probably keep progressing. It might not be the best idea in the world. But Ben McElmore and two first-round picks are going to hopefully get me a new backup point guard. We can call it a day. I don't have a problem going down to a nine-man rotation. So, do I just want to bring Gabe Vincent back? I very well could. Or I could get an upgrade with Gary Payton Jr. Or Gary Payton Jr. Gary Payton the second. Let's do that. Let's get Gary Payton the second, then I'll move on from Fournier, who does torch the Celtics, but an upgrade's an upgrade. We'll do two first-round picks, and now I need a point guard of some sort. Kind of working on this bench a little bit. I know I said earlier that, I, that it was a focus for me. Moving forward, um, Kira Lewis Jr., cool. Welcome to the squad. All right, we're going with a nine-man rotation. I'm hoping PG's regression isn't too bad, but other than that, I'm pretty comfortable with this team. I'll see you guys at the start of the third and final year. I probably should have known with Paul George that his regression was going to hit crazy. He's an 83 overall, which is, you know, it's not ideal, but again, I don't really care what his overall is as long as we're really playing well. So it is what it is. Ben Simmons, Desmond Bain, Paul George, Christoph Porzingis, and Clint Capella, our bench unit, Kyle Anderson, Kier Lewis Jr., Gary Payton II, and Moses Brown. Um, you know, the bench, it is what it is. It's not great. We've definitely had better benches. I think year number one, that was our best bench probably, but starting lineup's still really good, man. I will see you guys at the end of the third and final year. And our final regular season was a good one. We are a one seed once again for the third straight year, something that I also don't think I've accomplished in any of my videos, so you love to see it. Giannis Antetokounmpo, his third career MVP, Victor Wimbanyama, Rookie of the Year, is in Houston, Christian Wood. Anthony Davis, Paolo Banchero, and Ime Udoka. Third straight year coach of the year. We go 58 and 24. All right, we'll look at the standings overall-wise. We are 10 games ahead of the 48-win two-seed Cleveland Cavaliers. While wow, the East was atrocious this year. Player stats. Chris Dallas, Porzingis, Paul George, 83 overall, still putting up 20 points. It is what it is. Honestly, not bad. Rebounds, Capella, and assists was Ben Simmons. I think we're in a really good spot right now. Let's go ahead, sim the first round, see who we got here. It's going to be the Washington Wizards. Dinwiddie, Kyrie. Of Deha, Chimsey, Metu, Montrez, Harrell. They got Gafford. They got Ty Ty Washington. It's just a great name. We'll go game by game. I can't believe they have Kyrie, honestly. Because James Harden's regression hits really, really hard for some reason. We're up 3-2. I don't know why it hits so hard, but Kyrie left. So, honestly, kudos to you. Schroeder, Cunningham, Sadiq Bay, Jabari Smith Jr., Robert Williams. I believe we played the Pistons last year in the NBA's Eastern Conference Finals. We're up 3-0 against them right now, and we're up 3-1, and we win in 5. Moving on to the NBA's Eastern Conference Finals again. I don't know why I keep saying NBA, but Eastern Conference Finals, Garland, Okoro, Lou Dort, Evan Mobley, Jared Allen. Really good team there. Really nice young core right there. It's kind of becoming them, you know, solid superstar core of their own. We're up 3-1 right now, and we close them out, and we're going to our third straight NBA Finals. And honestly, I feel blessed. We have not had to face the Pelicans today. I'm hoping we don't have to. Well, obviously we don't have to. I'm hoping we can still win. John Morant, DeAnthony Melton, Kelton Johnson, Jackson Jr., Kevin Love at center. Interesting. Jaren Jackson Jr. not being the best rebounder in the world. Interesting that you're not playing an actual center at center. We're up 3-1 and can... Okay, don't do this to me. Please let me have a three-peat. I don't know if I... Thank God. We three-peat. Ben Simmons wins his second finals MVP. I, I honestly can't believe we did that. I, I honestly really, really cannot. I don't remember... Like, most of the time during some of these videos, I just... I'm not enjoying it because... I don't really tend to win a lot. I don't know what's going on recently, but in general, this game isn't fun. But you know what I'm saying. I have more fun when we do win, especially when we win three championships, which I don't think I've done this year so far. So you'd love to see it. Of course, if you guys enjoyed, can leave a like down below. It definitely mean a lot to me. And of course, if you guys are new around here, feel free to hit that subscribe button and join the community. If you guys want to see more of these, let me know which team to do next down below in the comment section. I do have some ideas right now for other videos. And of course, I will be getting on those as the year progresses. That pretty much wraps this one up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one.